Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? Happy Valentine's Day. I'm wearing red for you today. <laughs> do you guys do anything special for Valentine's Day? Me and hubby will probably go out for supper. We don't we don't do a lot for each other on Valentine's Day. We go and we have a nice meal somewhere and just enjoy each other's company and have kind of a little date night. So that's what we do. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And yeah, I'm just going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. I found some good stuff for you guys today. I didn't see anybody haul this. This looks impressive. I'm kind of curious to see how it works. This is by Color Story. Don't know that company. It's lip cream and it's a lipstick palette. Full on color, satin finish, mix and match custom color and the lip brush is included. Look at the packaging on that, guys. Pretty. I did untape it. It is taped on both ends. I untaped one side just to make it quicker to open because I want to show you what's in here. Let's see if I can get it out easily. It is a little lip palette with all these beautiful shades. So let's take it out of there. Big packaging for a little palette. Let's go ahead and open it. There is a little mirror in there across the top. It's a little tiny lip brush that comes with it. And then these pretty shades in there. Let's go ahead and try one. Let's try this darkest shade right here, this kind of brownie red. Feels very creamy. Almost, almost um, like a lip jelly. Do you see that? like a very sheer lip jelly. No real scent to it. So let's go ahead and try one of the brighter shades. We'll try, we'll try this one, see if it feels the same. And it too, it's a, it feels like a lip jelly. Very nice, pretty colors. I know I'm gonna love this. Cause I don't really like real, um, thick lipstick type products. I am more of a lip balm, lip gloss type girl. So yeah, that this is nice, guys. Very nice. If you guys see it, check it out. But I only saw one store have these. I haven't seen anyone, anybody haul these. I don't any, know anything about this company. I am stuttering through this haul, guys. Very, very nice. The packaging is beautiful. I'll put it in later, but this is the box. Very nice. I want to do some research and look to see who this company is because I don't know. And then you guys all know by now that I collect for Toys for Tots throughout the year and all of the bins that I had here, I've had, I have three. One bin, I am strictly doing toys that need batteries. I have two more bins that are completely full and I have, have a couple bags up there because I didn't have enough bins. So went ahead and picked up two more. This one is just by Closet Essentials. They're both the same. This one is gray and this one is a navy blue. And then I just leave the bins whenever at the end of the year when I take all the toys to donate, I just take everything in the bins and let them have the bins. And these are both the same size. They are 10.5 inch high, 10.5 inch wide, and 11 inches across the front, if that makes sense, 10.5 inches deep. Both the same by Closet Essentials, heavier weight. And then when you open these up, there's kind of a covered cardboard in there that you put in the bottom just to give it more stability. So I got those. One food item, Hubby actually picked these up. I will try them, but these are probably gonna be more for him. These are by the Doros brand. And these are chicha, chicharrones, chicharrones. And it's the chili and lime flavor. And it's a puffed wheat snack. I'm not gonna open these because these are for Hubby. And you know it does have the chili on there, so I don't know how spicy these are gonna be. If you guys know, please let me know. It's a 2.75 ounce, and the best if used by is April 27th of 24. But I'm sure these will be long gone. Hubby loves having this type of thing. If we just make sandwiches for lunch, he'll have a few of some type of chips on the side. 
and these were new to us. We haven't seen them before, so he thought he'd give them a try. And I will try them too, just to, to see what they're like. And these are from Kingsport, Tennessee. So if you guys have tried these, please comment down below and let us all know your thoughts on them. Me and spicy, spicy foods don't go together well, so I try one or two and see how it goes from there. And then I'm starting to gather up things for the Easter baskets for the five grandkids. You guys have heard me talking about it. And just in case I get too much stuff that it won't fit in those little organizer things that I got, the really pretty like caboodles dupes, I picked up some bags, the um, basket bags, gift basket bags, and they're called basket bags, and you get two in here. So I just picked up three packs. I have five grandkids, so I had to pick up two. This one is really cute. It has little chicks on it and the Easter eggs. Oh, and this one has chicks too. I picked up, are they all the same? No, this one is different. I got two of these. And then I got this one. And you can see it is different. This one does have chicks on it, but the Easter eggs are, are different. So I have six to go ahead and, because you know how that is, even using those little caboodle stuff, putting stuff in it, I'll just wrap those bags around it to just keep it all in place. And then one of you were, I believe this is what you were talking about. You were talking about these diamond art kits. I found three. I don't know if there are any more. They're diamond painting sheet by Crafter Square. This one is six by eight inches and it's this beautiful tiger and everything is included that you need to do it. So I wanna see if the kids want these, and if not, I will put them in for Toys for Tots. But this one is the tiger. It looks like they're all the same size, six by eight. Tiger, a toucan. And again, all the stuff is in there that you need to do it. And this beautiful watering can of flowers. So are there more out there? Usually they make things in sets of four, but these were the only ones that I saw, just these three. I should maybe put these in the three oldest granddaughters Easter baskets. I think the grandladies would like these. I may do that. Then I would have to find something for the grandson. Maybe, maybe if I can come across another tiger, I'll get a tiger one for him and then find some little craft thing more age appropriate for our littlest grand lady. That's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. And then I needed a flower pot. I just, I like having them around. I have another plant that I need to transplant. So I just picked up this one and it does have the um, little thing in the bottom like the, the water, if you over water, it will, you know, lay there in the bottom. And it does have on, on the very bottom, the outer bottom, the little holes where you can poke them out for water drainage. And one of you had asked how I do my, my plants when I transplant them. I put, I get some of those pebbles, the bags of pebbles from the Dollar Tree, put some of those in the bottom, put a, you know, an inch and a half layer of pebbles, then put in my soil, plant my plants, and then I put about a half an inch of the white sand from the Dollar Tree. I just put it on the top. And it just, it keeps those little gnat things away. I, it works, guys. If you guys have a lot of plants and you guys see those little teeny, teeny black flies, I think you guys call them fungus gnats or something, put sand on. They don't like going on the sand and they can't get down through the sand to lay their eggs. So eventually they will just disappear. The sand over time will discolor. It'll kind of turn like a brown, like the dirt, but I don't care. If it keeps keeps the bugs away, makes me happy. But that's how I do my, my flowers when I transplant them, any types of plants. And then a few things for me. I'm almost out of my lotion. I keep one of a little tube of this right on my beside my chair in the living room in the um, in the end table. 
and I'm almost out. So I picked up one to replace it. This is my absolute favorite hand cream, has been for a million years and probably always will be. This is the Utterly Smooth Hand and Body Cream, clinically proven 24 hour um, moisturization, original formula for rough, dry skin. It's a two ounce little tube, but a little goes a long way. And a tube of this lasts me a very long time. I just love it. It doesn't have an overpowering scent. It works great. So that is for me. And then this is for me. You guys know that I wanna start doing the Makeup Mondays again. I was on the hunt for this and I finally found it. It is by LA Colors, which I love this brand of makeup from the Dollar Tree. I love it. I had tried this several years ago, but it got old and I had to throw it away. So I wanna try it again, maybe with you guys in a Makeup Monday. And this is the Conceal Correct in the shade Peach. It kind of reminds me of the shade that I used, that little pot that I showed in my last Makeup Monday, the um, Pixie by Petra. It's an under eye anywhere, really. It's an, a peach corrector. I do that first before I do the rest of my makeup, and it helps just balance out the dark circles under my eyes. So I thought I'd give this a try. It looks like a very similar shade. So I'm going to open this. It does say it's it's cruelty free, which I love. And it says covers and conceals. This is in peach. They did have other colors as well. I know they had a yellow, a green. So we're going to go ahead and put some of this on my, I forgot I had that stuff on my hand there. We're going to put some, oh yes, 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 yes. See that peach color? And if you go back and watch that makeup Monday, what I do is use a tiny, tiny brush and I just put it right where I need it. I don't put a big swatch over my face. I just use that little tiny brush and put it like mostly in my tear trough. Anywhere there is darker areas, I don't go overboard with it. And I put it on first, kind of let it dry down for 20, 30 seconds, and then lightly tap it in with my finger. And then I've been going over it with um, just my foundation, my regular foundation. Today, I actually did use a little bit of a concealer under my eyes. I can't remember which one it was. I think it's like maybe from It Cosmetics is what I have on right now. But most of the time on the daily, for me, just in my daily life, I go ahead and just use my foundation over it. Let's go ahead and... I think that's going to be nice. It looks like this a little, a little is going to go a very long way. No real scent. So I'm going to leave that back here. And I am going to start gathering up some things to do another Makeup Monday for you. And this will be one of them that we try together. I should probably wipe that off before I get that all over my shirt. And then in where they have like all the nail polish and nail polish removers and all of that, they have this nice little kit in there by the Gem Company. So I thought I'd pick one of these up. And it is eight pieces. It looks like you get the big, big nail or big clippers for maybe toenails, the regular size nail clippers. It has tweezers. It looks like you get several emery boards and the orange stick in there. So that looked like a really nice kit. Clippers, emery boards, cuticle stick, and tweezers by Pacific World Corporation. So if you guys have tried these, let me know your thoughts. But this company's been around since 1896. So it must be pretty decent. So that is for me. I'm gonna actually going to put this right in my travel bag. I have, I have a travel bag that I keep, like a little carry-on size travel bag under the seat, whatever you call that, um, that I keep like pre-packed. Anything that I can keep in there all the time, I do. And when we went on vacation last year, I realized I didn't have a set like this in there. So that's where this is going to go. So yeah, that is it for this haul. On my lips today, guys, I actually have on a Dollar Tree... I showed this in a haul recently and said I wasn't quite sure if I would ever wear this in a video because it's so bright. It is by Be Pure Clean Beauty. This is the classic red, and it's a, a lipstick. Beautiful. It is much more of a blue undertone red. 
So I didn't know if it would go well with this blouse today, but I think it works just fine. I have it kind of matted down a little bit with some lip gloss. I don't have it on quite as strong as what that is, but I think it's okay. I think it's pretty. Maybe I could get used to wearing more bold colors like this in a certain event, for a certain event. I don't think I would wear this on the daily. I'm more of a very, very just gloss type girl, but very nice. And this lipstick feels nice. It's it's smooth, it's not gummy, it's not sticky. I'm really liking this Clean Beauty by Be Pure, this line, it's very nice. I'm still looking for some of their different makeup stuff that they have out, so hopefully I can find that soon. So anyway, everybody, that is it for this haul. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And again, happy Valentine's Day. Peace.